What's up, everybody? It's your boy Meme here. <coughs> I'm healed. Um, not really. I, I woke up this morning and I felt better than I did yesterday, um, which is pretty rare for a day like yesterday in which I uh, did non sick activities. Um, for the past week or so, I've been alternating between like sick days and not sick days. And a not sick day is just when I wake up at a normal time and I exercise like normal and I just do my schoolwork, you know, like a normal day. Um, but then a sick day is where I lay in bed and that's the only thing I do. I lay in bed, I might go on my phone for a little bit, but I, I'm just primarily sleeping and, and lying in bed. Um, and it's actually rather interesting because um, the... Um, I have a little bit of coffee here. Um, it's actually interesting because uh, yesterday I did something rather unique, which I haven't done before in my sickness, um, is that I had a normal day, but I replaced the exercise time with just more sleeping. So last night I slept for, I think, nine to ten hours, um, and that felt pretty good yesterday, and I was just doing my thing, I just did some schoolwork and stuff. Um, but then um, I went to bed at around like 7.40 last night, and I woke up at um, around, I, I went to bed at 7.40 p.m., and then I woke up at around 7.20 a.m., um, and that's a little under 12 hours of sleep, um, and that turned out pretty well. I, um, of course, I slept well, you know, I slept for 12 hours, uh, but also I um, feel better this morning than I did yesterday, so I'm happy about that. Uh, I'm just hanging out today. I'm sort of a, a slave to my autonomy. Um, I've been thinking a lot about, um, oh, also today I'm going to be going to the doctor. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to the doctor at 4 p.m., but I'm checking in at 3.45. My mom is being very nice and she offered to drive me, so I'm happy about that, because otherwise I'd just walk, and who wants to walk to the doctor for being sick? Um, it kind of sucks because I'm not that sick anymore, but um, I have been sort of unusually sick for like like nine or ten days, and it's a little unusual because typically when I'm sick, I'm only sick for like three or four days. I don't think I have a cold. I don't think I have the flu. I don't think I have COVID. I think there's another thing that I have that I don't know what it is yet, and I need to go to the doctor to find out. I have lots of very scary thoughts in my head about like what I could have but I think it's it's just one of those where I can't like I'm just gonna have to go to the doctor and just find out and not have to worry about it for now um, because it's very statistically unlikely like it's just uh, getting a bad disease uh, is just very unlikely and it being just like a weird cold is a lot more likely uh, but because I have that ambiguity, it's like, oh my god, what, you know, what do I have? Like, like, is it over? For, like, is it Jover? You know, and that, you know, that's what's going through my brain. But I know I can't be, I can't be thinking like that. Um, and even if I don't find out what I have today at the doctor, um, I'm gonna have to find out at some point. And until then, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna harp on it because that sounds scary. And I feel like me talking about it like this makes it seem like a lot worse than it is. I don't know what it is. I just don't, I don't want to like uh, talk about what I think it might be uh, because then it's like, um, because then it, it could just very easily, and it's very likely that it's not what, it, what I think it might be. Anyway, I, I'm not going to keep talking about this. I'm going to the doctor today. Um, so I think I'm fine for the record. Like I'm, it's likely that I'm completely fine. Um, but anyway, um, so, so, yeah, um, I am a slave to my, uh, to my, uh, oh no, I messed up the sentence. I'm a slave to my autonomy. Um, here's the problem. So back when I was, I want to say 12 to f 14, 12 to 13, um, I was really into programming in Python, um, 
and I was sort of doing my things. Um, I have a whole bunch of old private repos on my GitHub, of just my bad code. I did the Yandere dev, like if else thing a lot. Cause I had just learned like just barely a little bit of Python syntax. And I was like, wow, I'm like, I'm like Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs isn't a programmer. I'm like Steve Wozniak. Um, and uh, I'm gonna like make all these things and I have all these ideas. But the thing was, was that I didn't even learn Python. I just learned like print statements and if statements and like I had learned things about Python and things you could do in Python, but I wasn't learning Python, you know what I mean? I was just sort of, it's it's like a monkey at a keyboard type thing, you know? Um, and um, I've always been under the impression that for my age, I'm like, I'm like, I've always been under the impression that I'm like smart for my age, but I don't think that's true. Um, I, maybe I was at some point. I remember uh, once I got into like late middle school, people stopped remarking on my typing speed because everybody started to be able to like type like how I did. Um, and um, even when I was like, like 12, 14, and I thought I was okay at programming. Um, if you're around a whole bunch of people who know nothing about programming and you know like 1% about programming, uh, they all think you know everything about programming. And when you're around all these people, you get the impression that you're like some sort of super genius, you know, and that's not the case, right? Um, and so, you know, the, the thing that had happened was I had done my, uh, I had done all this programming, right? And um, just, you know, as, as one of those things that you just naturally get uninterested in, I, I got less interested in it. I got more interested in other things. Um, like I got more into running my Minecraft server and doing a bunch of other things that weren't related to Python. Um, and then I was under the impression that, oh, like, I don't, I don't really like programming. I don't want to do programming. That's not what I want to do because, um, I no longer have a genuine interest in it. Um, in the same way, I have a genuine interest in these other things. And I think that there's a kernel of truth to that, but I do think I'm sort of biased, uh, in that, I started programming at a very young age and I wasn't very good at it and then I stopped being genuinely interested in it and I feel like that my stopping of being genuinely interested in it is preventing me from uh, having a genuine connection with this uh, hobby, you know? Uh, so like, here's what I think happened. It's a lot cooler for a 12 to 14 year old to know Python, I'm putting out in quotes because I didn't know Python, than it is for a 19 to 20 year old to know Python. I'm still putting it in quotes because from an outsider's perspective, we both know Python, but truly I would know more, right? Um, and it's, it's, it's a lot more impressive for a, a young teenager uh, to know Python uh, than it is for an old teenager to know Python, I feel like. I feel like it's just sort of inherently more impressive because, you know, you're younger and you know something that, you know, is not, uh, not trivial to learn, right? Um, and so, that sort of, uh, that sort of, I, I was sort of a, I say I'm a slave to my own autonomy, but I don't necessarily think that's true. I think that like what I'm truly a slave of, maybe I should stop saying slave. Maybe, maybe I should stop saying that. But what I'm truly uh, beholden to is beholden. Is that a word? Okay. 
Oh, wings up. Okay, sure, sure, beholden. Okay. So, but what I'm really beholden to is uh, these, like, the people around me and how my impression of myself is formed from the people around me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah. My dad made cold brew for the first time in a while. It's been like two months since he made cold brew. The cool thing about cold brew and the reason why cold brew is different from iced coffee is that iced coffee is just coffee you make and then you put ice on it. Um, but cold brew, the coffee doesn't get hot throughout the entire brewing process. It's cold all the way through. Um, and that just results in a, in a better flavor. Um, and of course I say that and then I drink it with cream, like some sort of degenerate. Um, but you know, what can you do? Alas, right? Alas. Um, I don't think I want to do programming as a career. I don't think I do. Um, and it seems like, I, I, I understand that me saying that and, oh, one sec, I need to run the dishwasher. Hello everyone, I'm back and my dad trapped me. I need to eat the rest of these chips um, because he's having a sandwich and he's having chips with the sandwich. But this is like an inconvenient amount of chips to like keep the bag around so I just have to finish them. Um, and that is my obligation. I'm a good eater. Um, wow, this looks like I'm sponsored by these guys. I'm not. Are these a Northwest thing? This is a ChatGPT question. You know what, I'm not gonna use ChatGPT. I'm gonna find it out on Wikipedia. Tim Sales are most prominent in the Pacific Northwest. Okay, they're sort of an, uh, like a Seattle thing. These are some really good potato chips. They're like very hard, like they look like this and they're like, they're like that, you know? Sorry for talking with my mouth open. Um, anyway, so so um, I don't think I'm interested in programming as a career, and I know that from an outsider's perspective, there's like, well, no, hmm. I feel like there are two ways. So that statement, I don't think I want to do programming as a career with the context of everything I've said in the past. From an outsider's perspective, there are two possibilities. Either I'm being genuine in that statement, or second option, I'm like, it's like some sort of like, it's like the beginning of like a montage where at the beginning I'm like, I don't know, and then I'm like doing my Python class, and then it's like it's gonna do like a montage cut to like to like me on leak code, you know, and I'm I'm doing like binary search trees or something, I, you know, I don't know, I don't know high level programming stuff, um, and. Uh, then I'm going to become like a, some sort of programming wizard, and that's the end game. Uh, but I want you to know, uh, with in all sincereness in my heart, and I know I can't, I can't predict the future, but I'm fairly confident that the that number one is the correct option. There, that's the truth. Um, I genuinely am not interested in programming as a career. Um, it seems a little too competitive. Um, it seems a little too weird. You know, I don't know. I just, uh, I don't know if I would like the sort of culture behind programming, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know. I, it seems like just a bad vibe and not something I want to be associated with. Um, and the thing is, is uh, from my perspective, programming is really just a means to an end. Um, this isn't really programming because it's bash, right? But when I was making my uh, bash script for my thumbnails, um, I didn't necessarily need to do that, so I guess in that sense it was voluntary, but I kind of needed to make that script. 
Um, I really wanted a way for all of my thumbnails to be publicly accessible, and I was like, well, I might as well have it be automatic, and I just kind of set it up because I needed to do that. I didn't need to, and it's kind of voluntary, but I, I needed to, you know, like it was something I needed to do. Uh, and in that sense, it was like a means to an end. Like I, I wanted this thing done, I wanted to be able to do this, and so I just programmed it. Um, but it seems like a lot of people who do programming as a career are like into the art of like pressing the buttons on the keyboard. Like they like, they like programming conceptually. Um, and that's crazy to me. Uh, to me, it's sort of just like, I don't know, programming is like a weird sort of, sort of like hellish, like occupation that you, that, uh, you would have to do in hell. Um, cause it's, <laughs> it's just seems so it's just so tedious and weird and difficult and you have to run into so many weird different issues and the dopamine you get from like solving a problem isn't even that much you're like okay you know i guess i guess i did this you know and it's like it's not even that rewarding and it's just like you know it's such a and you can't even really show any other people because they don't know programming so you're just like okay i guess i just sort of did this thing for myself all on my own and you know that's it right uh and I don't know, maybe maybe the uh, true dopamine hit, like maybe the true like uh, end game is just having like an end product that you can show someone and then they find that impressive because they don't even know where they would begin to create something like that. But, you know, for me, I don't know, I feel like um, just like sort of networking, sort of server stuff um, that may involve programming, right? I mean, you know, of course, that sort of thing involves programming, but just sort of server stuff, you know, like... Uh, Networking, so I'm just repeating myself. Just stuff like that. Um, I'm taking an AWS class and I'm getting really into like cloud stuff. Um, I just find all that very interesting. Um, and it sucks uh, because I feel like programming is sort of like the one sort of puzzle piece that I need to put in to be like a fully multifaceted sort of uh, uh, valuable employee, you know? Uh, but it sucks because um, it's like, man, I'm pretty good at this. I have a pretty good work ethic and all these things that I can like, I can like ship, like I've done things like, this isn't saying much, but you know, pretty soon I'm going to be working on a pretty big project for my Minecraft server and it's going to be cool, right? Um, and nobody's really going to care because nobody plays on my Minecraft server it's, and it's really just sort of a, uh, a facet through which I can like experiment with different uh, sort of technologies that I want to mess with. Uh, but despite that, you know, I can ship, I feel like, I feel like I can ship. And so it's just like, what's the, um, so I j maybe I just, I don't know. Maybe it's just because my, my programming muscle is just completely underdeveloped. Um, I can't like, because I didn't do any programming from 12 to, 18, you know, for, for those six years, um, I just am like complete, like my programming skills are just, just, uh, eaten away and like sort of anemic. Can I use that there? Anemic? Is that proper? Anemic. Ah. Uh, this is a chat GPT question. Hold on. Um... Okay, sure. It's a bit dramatic. Okay. Okay. You know, I guess I could have used anemic there. Sorry for just grinding the entire flow to a halt. Um, but you know, um, so so my 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 programming ability is sort of anemic in my brain. Um, and the thing is, is that um, 
from 12 to 18, I was working on all of these other things, like all these networking things and all these like Linux things. Like I've been using Linux since 2019 and all these like different interesting things and like skills I've developed, but my programming level up until this class uh, has been the same since I was 12 and that sucks. Um, and so I think, you know, I think, uh, <clears throat> okay, so I, I've worked through this. Now, I think the meta is to just lock in on programming when I'm done with my Python class, don't stop doing programming and never do it again because I know it's just gonna like, it's all gonna erase from my brain if I don't start using it after class, you know? Um, and like, you know, um, yeah, I know it's all gonna erase from my brain. Um, and so I think what I need to do is I need to just like, once I'm done with my Python class, do some like, I don't know, like Python things, Python related things and just do stuff and keep working on it. Um, and then eventually maybe I can learn like a good language like Go or something and not Rust. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Um, bye.